All right. We are closing in on the end of episode two of Crystal Caves. I hope. It feels like we must be closing in on the end. Oh, falling rocks. Always remember you can stand on the exit door. And watch out for cannon fire. Come on. Helps if the cannon actually fires on cue. Okay, we might have to take this guy out. Uh, wait until he falls asleep. Any second now. Yep. Oh, damn it. I do appreciate that you can shoot most enemy shots out of the sky as I get hit by an enemy shot. I was too busy paying attention to the falling rocks. Uh, come on. Oh, no. I'm stuffed. Yep. That was, uh... That was a bit of an inevitability. Oh, no! Okay. What is that tornado thing up the top? That's got me very worried. Okay. Oh, rats. I'm just destined to take a hit there, apparently. I'm going to say that it's fate and not that I just suck. Okay, so I need to kill that one in pretty much exactly the same spot. Well, that'll do. Okay. Alright. On the minecart go. Hop up onto this platform. Wait for it to go again. And stronger. I can't destroy the minecart, but I can tank all these green mushrooms. And that rock. Oh, no! Right. Oh, I made that the first time. Okay, I've got to get these crystals, though. Unless there's, like, a reverse gravity that I'm missing. Okay, well, that's the crystals done, but now I've got to make that jump again over the poison piles. And I'm suddenly not feeling very confident about it. Ha ha! See, I think my greatest failing in this game is when I get too cocky. Falling danger sign. And I finally got hit by one of the freaking rocks. Okay, I've apparently only been playing this level for a little over three minutes, but it feels like an hour. And I'm sure to all of you, it feels like even longer. Come on. Thank you. It's surprising how much the falling rocks are not the threat they look like. Like, I haven't actually paid enough attention, but ah, oh, I wouldn't be at all surprised to learn that the falling rocks never fall in the column that you are standing in. Okay, come on, mate. Ah, drat. Okay, we can do this. There we go. Go. Alright. Tank the hits. Straight through the rock. And... Ooh. I really should have gone for it. And I could have tanked the spikes if I needed to, but... Okay. Alright. 
So, this time, watch out for the falling rocks. And the falling danger sign. So this guy is placed here very specifically to try and get you to shoot the air generator. So closing with him is actually a very good idea. Oh, that's what the tornado thing does. I'm guessing it also hurts. No, 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 no. Um, did I see an exit? Come on. Thank you. Oh. Oh, the exit was back at the start. Right. Okay. Uh, I should have gone the other way. But I made it. Six minutes. But I did it. Okay, I... I think I've cleared out all the levels I can reach. I'm going to save in a separate slot just in case. But yeah, okay, so once you are down here, there's no going back up. Oh, can you get out? Actually, you might be able to get out over to the right, now that I look at it. Okay. Uh, not as much headroom there as I would like for dealing with a snake. And that's just a death trap. Okay. Uh, right. Aha! We have not one, but two invulnerability mushrooms. Do they stack? I wouldn't have thought they stacked. Okay. Well, that's sort of as much as I can take care of that way. I have to go back and get the other invulnerability mushroom, and then I can deal with the snakes on the lower platforms. Uh, that was probably, yeah, I needed to kill him a little further along. Okay, let's go another 15 seconds. Clean these guys out in case I need to come back. I can get the crystals. Ah, oh, no, I'm going to miss that one. Ah, oh, no. Okay, we're going to have to dodge this guy the old-fashioned way. Or not, we'll just tank the hit. I have a bad feeling that I'm screwed now. Uh, yeah, no, I am, because I won't be able to jump back over that snake corpse. Uh, we're going to have to do this one again, I think. Oh, no, I can make it over the snake corpse. Okay, so let's drop down here, I suppose. Hug that wall. Oh, no. Dodge both ways for those slugs. I think that looks like it's just a path back up to the top. So I shouldn't need to go up there. Because I... I think I can just about get everything here. And that's all of it. All right. <sighs> Not getting the perfect health bonuses, but you know what? I can live with that. Yeah, okay, you can get back out to the right. So you don't you aren't stuck down here. I thought I thought it would be a bit unfair. All right, let's try this one. Oh, I am getting real secret agent vibes from this level. I know the two games run on the same engine and everything, but this is particularly secret agent-y. I can't quite pin my finger on why. That's a dick move. Okay, it would have been a dick move if those spikes had fallen like I'd expect them to. Can I get those two crystals without getting hit by the cannon? 
Yes, I can. All right, let's keep going. This direction seems to be working out for us okay. Ugh. I thought about dropping in and shooting them, but I uh, decided against it, and uh, that may have been the wrong decision. Oh, well, we'll see. Okay. So you got to wait for it to go all the way to the right and then follow it. Oh! Jeez. That's how we do it. Ooh. Damn it. If I make this with one health point left, I think I needed to do things in a certain order that I haven't done. And I am now screwed. Because I don't think I can get back up there. There was an anti-grav somewhere? I can't quite think... Yeah, there's one down there. Maybe if I grab that, I can go back up to the top. Or maybe not. All right. Let's try this again. Wait for it. Dead. Okay. What if I do... Uh, I've still got to get up there somehow. Oh, which there is an anti-grav for. Why the... Shot power, though? What am I meant to shoot? That rock. Right, okay. I need to shoot the rock. Okay. Cool. That takes care of that. And that's those crystals. All right, so that's progress. I did that right this time. The only other thing I can think is possibly that anti-grav is designed for if you made the mistake, the one there on the bottom that I never did quite reach is designed for if you made the mistake I made the first time and it'll get you back up to the top. Okay. Come on. Gotcha. All right. That takes care of that. Now, remember the falling spikes this time. There is a real element of trial and error to all this. But I got there in the end. Okay, we are going to have to take care of these two or I'm going to get myself mercilessly slaughtered. I would appreciate it if they got together on their movement pattern a bit. <laughs> okay, they're a bit more in sync now. Oh, I thought I had one shot on him already. Okay. Boy, they are really stocking me up on ammo here. Milo likes a tidy house and minimizes his uh, piles of poisonous corpses on the floor. Oh, wow. I lucked out there. Not so lucky there. Oh, they're all nicely synced up now. Yeah? Okay. Let's go back around and down to the bottom floor and hopefully uh, not get myself stupidly killed this time.
But it's me, so it's always a possibility. Okay. The little tadpole guys. Sort of assess what I need to get so I know what order to try and get it in. Okay, so there's a lot of crystals this way. Okay, so... Anti-grav, here we go. Yeah, I need to get all the way down to the bottom. Which I don't think I can actually do... Yeah, I can't stand on those platforms in anti-grav. But I can do that, and that's enough. And the exit's right there. One hit point left, but one hit point's all you need. Alright, this is going to be, I guess, slightly longer part. But, uh... Because I would usually end it here, but we've only got one level to go. So, let's uh, try and knock it over before I have to go to work. <laughs> oh, come on! Are you serious with this jump? I don't think that jump is a, a jumpable jump, if I'm honest with you. Yep, I was right. That jump is not a jumpable jump. Oh, come on. There it is. I haven't seen the bonus eggs too much this episode. Thank you. This is the most I've been hurt by the falling rocks in the whole time playing Crystal Cave. Alright, enough with these stupid invisible platforms. I feel like Proton John or something. Okay. Ah, damn it. We're waiting for the platform. Come on. There you are. Who's going to try and get that strawberry? <laughs> Why would it spawn there? <laughs> oh, nuts. All right, one more go and then I've really got to leave, so... <laughs> Come on, Milo. It's a good thing he's wearing a helmet. I'd have given him, like, a lot of concussions. Alright. Grab... Uh, no, not quite. Okay, get that one. There's one. Two. And a moving platform would be appreciated. All right. On to the second half of the level. Remember to shoot the bat. The world map in this game is quite non-linear, really. But this does have the feel of a last level to it. What?
Okay, I think I probably should have died then. But I didn't, and I'll kind of take it. Okay. This is where I'm going to test my theory that the falling rocks don't fall in the column you're standing in. If I'm wrong, it will be a quick and painful death. With a rock crushing my skull. Okay. Yep, I feel like there was an enemy in here somewhere. And now I'm not getting the bonus eggs properly, I don't care. I just want to escape. I want to leave. Oh, no. Okay, I really have to go now. So uh, I guess in the next part, uh, we will finish episode two and start episode three, which I know is a bit unusual by my standards. But hey, that's just the way you roll sometimes. Thanks for joining me. Please like, subscribe, etc. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. And uh, enjoy some retro gaming because there's really nothing quite like it. Bye.